So moral development involves many things. I think we're really talking here about helping to develop kids who are caring, who are kind, who are courageous, who are responsible, who care about justice. But let me just underline three things that I think of as most important. One is, I think we have to make those values priorities in our parenting. And, and for many parents, they're not priorities right now. And one of the things that comes up in our research is if you ask kids what's most important to their parents, they will say that their self-esteem or their happiness is more important to their parents than their caring for others, their kindness, their respect. Some will say their achievements are more important to their parents and their caring or respect or commitments to justice. So I think parents have to express this commitment to caring and kindness as their priority in parenting. You know, a very simple thing you can do as a parent is to say, the most important thing to me is not that you're happy, but the most important thing is that you're kind, or the most important thing is that you're kind and you're happy. And in day-to-day -day ways, I think you can emphasize kindness. You know, you can not let your, friend, your kids write off friends that they find annoying. You can ask your kids to reach out to friendless kids on the playground. You can make sure that your kids are respectful to, to your friends. You can make sure your kids write thank you notes. Things that might not be so fun to them or might not make them happy in the moment, but are things that build their capacity for respect and care and kindness. The second thing I would emphasize is expanding your kid's circle of concern. So most kids have some empathy. I mean, the question is, who do they have empathy for? They have empathy maybe for family members or they have empathy for friends, but do they have empathy for people outside of that small circle, outside of their small circle of friends? Do they have empathy and are they kind to the waitress, to the bus driver, to the custodian, to, uh, to school secretary? Are these people in the, on their radar, in their moral awareness? And how do we make people who can be invisible to kids visible? And how do we help kids value and humanize those people that have been invisible to them? Often they're people that are different in terms of race, class, culture, they have a disability or difference in gender, difference in sexual orientation. I think the third thing that we really need to be attentive to as parents is what we are modeling for our kids. Are we kind to the waitress, to the bus driver? Are we appreciating the waitress and the bus driver? Are we contributing to our communities? When we're interacting with our kids' school, are we just focused on our own kid? Or are we focused on other kids in the building and, and, and on the community? When we're at sports fields with our kids, are we just focused on our own kid? Are we focused on other kids on their, our kids' team? Or on kids on the other team? Or on the well-being of the referee? Are we focused on the larger community? And I think kids will take up our qualities and want to become like us if they respect us. So I think the other question you have to ask in terms of modeling is, what do my kids think of me? And if they don't respect me, why? And what can I do to, the, to repair the relationship? And finally, it's very important, this is a hard thing to do, to get feedback, I think, from people that you really care about and respect about what you're modeling. So when my kids were born, I asked a very close friend, I certainly asked my wife, if I'm ever modeling something for my kids that you think is really damaging to them and I'm not aware of it, please tell me. And again, I think that's a very hard thing to do. We're all sensitive about this, but it's really important, I think, to get feedback occasionally about your parenting.